Hello, today I'm going to talk to you about how to use loft and shell. So loft essentially is for the purpose of being able to take one closed profile and project it to a different or another closed profile. Uh, now when I say different, it can be a different shape or it can be a different size, different orientation. Uh, in fact, I'm going to kind of mess with the orientations of what I'm going to draw today to be able to uh, show what it can do. So I'm going to do a new sketch on my top view. I'm going to look at it straight on. I made everything invisible except for origin. That way I can have a central point to work with. And I'm going to start by drawing a polygon. So I'm going to select my item, bring it out. And then I'm going to make it three, uh, three sides. And I'm going to straighten this out. And then I'm going to put a dimension on it. I'll make this one three inches. And this is, this. I'm not making a specific object. I'm just kind of demonstrating what you can do. I'm going to finish my sketch, put it back into isometric. And then from there, I'm going to create a plane. And I'm going to do an offset plane. So you want to make sure this says offset. It typically defaults to it, but just in case you want to check. And I'm going to change my distance to four inches. And this is how high up I want my plane to be. And all I did was click on this and it put it four inches above. And if I show it from the front, you can see that. Um, if you want it to flip so it goes below, or if it goes below and you need to flip above, if you click this black arrow, let me zoom out here, you can see that it went below four inches as opposed to above. Okay, so I'm going to hit my green check mark. I'm going to do a new sketch on that plane. And what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to go back to isometric to show you, is I'm going to use the Use option. Those of you familiar with, with Inventor, it's a lot like Project Geometry. So I'm going to select that and then click on my origin and project that up to my plane. So that way I have something to start with to draw my new polygon. So I'm going to start another polygon, select it, bring it out. I'm going to make it three sides, just like my other one there. And then I'm going to hit Escape. And I'm actually going to drag this and rotate it a little. Because I want it to be the opposite of this triangle. So I'm going to rotate a little and then do horizontal. So that way it is the opposite. And then I'll throw a dimension on it. And I'm going to make this four just to make it a little bigger. And then I'll finish my sketch. And again, I'll go back to isometric so you can see what, I see, what uh, is going to happen. And then I'm going to hide my plane just because I prefer that look. And then I'm going to choose Loft. Loft is over here up next to Sweep and Extrude and Revolve. And I'm going to, all I do is I click on Loft, and then I select one triangle and then the other. And this can happen with multiple sketches. Like if I wanted to add another three or four for it to keep going, I could do that. I could just keep going up and up and up and just keep going. I can offset it. Uh, I can move it around. As you can see, it creates kind of this cool twist because I uh, changed the orientation of the two triangles. Once it's the way you want it, you just click the check mark, and now you have this cool looking object here. Um, and again, you can use this to create something that tapers. Uh, angles, twists, changes shape. You can do from a circle to a square. Uh, it's really a neat tool to be able to create some interesting items. So the other item I wanted to show you kind of mixes well with this. Uh, it's called Shell. What Shell does is it hollows out an object, and you don't need a sketch to be able to shell. All you do is you click the Shell button like I did, uh, which is next to Hole. And then you just select what surface you want to start the hollowing out. I'm going to just, just going to click on the top. And as you can see, it made the inside hollowed out, but not all the way through. Okay, so it doesn't go through the bottom. Once you have that set, which you can change the measurement on if you want to, so I'll change it to 0.2 just to show how the wall goes thicker. Hit the green check mark, and you're all set. Okay, and I'll show you the isometric view of this. Thank you for watching.